the Vectrack machine was the idea of Daryl Chadwick and Tracy Boxall, who had the vision for an industrial machine suitable for retrieval coal spillages. Later, the application in the shearing sheds was employed with huge success. Here you see a before and after shot of oil on water, where the oil has been sucked up quite easily and then stored in the containers. This is a shearing shed situation now where the vac tracks now has been employed in under the shearing sheds. As you can see, it is doing an excellent job with a sucking capacity of around 10 cubic metres an hour. We're able to apply the machine in any shearing shed, no matter how off the ground it is or how short it is, unless it's been used as a storage for sheep where it's been packed down. In this case, we are working in a very confined area but still able to get to it. This manure has been down there for over 25, 30 years. Some of this manure is hard and has to be broken up, but the machine seems to do this with ease. Once the manure has been removed from under the shearing shed, this gives us an opportunity then to see any damage to the shearing shed, any problems that it's had over the years through rotting timbers or supports, and we're able to give farmers quotes for repairs. We tip into a dip tip truck that can be taken anywhere in the property and dumped or we can bag it. In this case, just beside the shearing shed, this is after a, a couple of hours work here. Generally most small sheds, is, this is about the volume you'd have, about two, maybe three hours of work. This is what's from about seven hours. Here we have the back tracks working in the tanks and slurry shins, uh, in this case it's industrial waste uh, that where it's in a very confined space, hard to get at. Vectrax is a machine that has been able and adopted to go in to do anything that's required and asked of it. And the Vectrax is driven by a 110 horsepower Cummings motor. The hoses can be extended out around about 60 metres from the machine and can be used on sumps of 60 feet plus. The slurry is easily sucked up as long as the slurry is actually wet. Now, when we talk about slurry, it could be clay, it could be a mud, as long as the, the, the substance is a wet state. If it is hard or it's gone into a solid matter, it's just a matter of applicating water to it and then turning it back into a, a soft mixture so it can be sucked up. Here we are at Morton Island, where there had been an oil spill contaminating the water and the foreshore. The vac tracks suck the oil from the water, the oil from the foliage, and the oil contaminated sand. The vac track has been found to be very good at vacuuming up wood chip. This is a fill day that was, was waterlogged and had to have a lot of wood chip stored on it. As you can see, it's picking it up quite well. There are some wood chips at the bottom that was being tramped into the ground that's a little bit difficult to get but it does a good job. We were able to pick up around about the same as in the shearing sheds, about 10 cubic metres an hour, and take it to a, a place where it could be used again for the next year. Our team have been using the Vectrax machine for many years, in many different uses over five years, and have found it to be an easy and quick form of removing wet or dry waste. This means no tedious work or strain on labourers, and the job is completed quickly without hassle.